Hi everybody, this is uh, Zan Management. I am Micah. This is I'm Zach. And I am Tara. And we're going to show you a little bit of uh, what we've been doing for a little while here with Blockade Runner. Okay, so uh, what we've been doing is we've been fixing up like the UI and making it just much smoother and easier to, to use the editor. I mean, we've added a whole new material bar. Um, you know, if you remember the last one, it was uh, it was much you had everything separated kind of weird with different tabs for different things we've simplified it with uh, frames all in one thing so you can get whichever frames you need and it's always in the same spot and then platings and interiors moving on down the line glass we don't have glass yet and as you can see it's coming soon it's coming up with uh, whenever we feel like very it very or very uh, soon to come version yeah that one uh, and we got parts, which is like all the more important parts of your ship, you know, weapons and sensors. Right now, basically, weapons and the engines are the... The shower cell is most important. The what? The shower cell is most yes, important. Yes, the shower cell. <laughs> Apparently, we need to move that to uh, <laughs> decor, because that's, that's not a essential part of your ship. <laughs> but uh, engines and weapons are basically the only thing you really need to worry about when uh, you're doing your ship. And then we have the last tab, which is decor, which has got all of the special cool stuff that it everyone doesn't wants. actually do anything at the present time. Yeah, but, but it might will. do something in the future. Uh, lockers for blowing up GoldenEye style. Um, so, and the, the biggest feature that we've added with the material bar is a search bar where you can actually search for anything that you want. So if I wanted something, anything that re retains to gold or refers to rather, <laughs> there it is. Gold and gold nuggets. Or if I wanted frame all the frame or if I wanted engines and I can do uh, after that I can do bulb for lights or maybe just lights <laughs> for lights yeah there we go lights and um, <laughs> weapon all kinds of stuff like that where you can do combinations and get whatever you're looking for and right now we have all of the objects in the game do have uh, some predefined tags uh, we'll probably add some more to them as we go but uh, everything is at least uh, tagged to begin with Right, like thruster would be like uh, thruster, engine, uh, propulsion, things like that. And uh, for prefabs, uh, the prefabs have actually gotten quite a bit of an upgrade um, because before they were really wonky and it was hard to place them because you didn't know where it was starting. Uh, Nathan spent some time and actually got them fixed up. Where and we've added these cool little bar thingies at the bottom that kind of show you where the bottom of the prefab is and kind of how big it'll expand. Which helps tremendously when you're trying to place lots of them all over a ship. Right. So um, that's a big improvement. And uh, so one of the other things that we did is uh, interiors. Uh, we did limit uh, the interiors. So there's actually only four interiors now that are predefined. We uh, are actually in the process of redoing the interior editor so that it's easier and more straightforward to use uh, as it was kind of frustrating for a, a new user. So we're we're redoing that and for the current version it's going to be limited to just these four interiors. Uh, but more will be added soon. So let's actually load another ship to show you some more of the prefabs right, and we we've we actually just load one. You haven't actually loaded one yet. Yeah, well, in the, we've uh, completely redone the uh, load save dialog, made it much smoother, much cleaner, a lot easier to to load and save ships. And speaking of load, this is actually a really fun feature that a lot of people have been asking for us to do, and we finally did it, which is an autosave feature. Yay! Yay! So you can set how many minutes it'll, you know, save, and that way you don't have to worry about your ship crashing and then losing everything that you work for. Uh, this is made by a community member named uh, The Almighty Bob, who uh, I actually really like his ships. His ships are pretty cool. We got a lot of cool ships and a lot of community ships that are just fantastic, and uh, this is one of them. Uh, just to note, the doors now are all, all of them can pass through, even even in the free viewer. Oh, yeah, and well, this is uh, one of the biggest things that we've added is physics. Now you can move around and actually bump into your ship, and you can jump on prefabs. Yeah, I'll jump on all those prefabs. Oh, and you've got uh, crab for feet. <laughs> uh, I mean, feet. Yeah, feet. Feet, feet for crab? Uh, this is uh, our new character, the Rock Monkey guy, and uh, these are his legs. He's not legs. just legs. Yeah. The animation isn't quite in yet, so he's a little bit stiff, but you get the idea. 
So um, doors are pass throughable just because we don't have the, uh, the door animations in, but just to make it easier for you to walk through your ship. But with the physics, you can now actually walk into your ship and see all the cool angles and ship frame stuff that you made and walk around in it. And the physics work with every object we have in the game right now. Uh, so that means catwalks work, uh, things saw. like the chairs work. Everything actually reacts uh, to your guy jumping on it or bumping into it. Um, and uh, we've added a a pretty fun feature to the thing. Just to, it was originally to test out the physics, and we just found it so fun we wanted to keep it. You can actually create blocks. It'll actually, and that went through the wall because of the uh, physics thing. And um, it's really cool because they they bump into all the different prefabs the same as your guy does. And they're all attracted to the center of your ship for right now just because we needed some place for them to go and that seemed like the most logical. And I'm going to turn on ghost mode, which I don't know if we had that in the last version, but if not, that's something we added. It's and, cool regardless. Yeah, and so we go out to the outside of the ship. And you can shortcut it with P, by the way, which is what I'm doing. Uh, otherwise, you can do up here, there's a spawn crate icon. Um, so you get to spawn crates and they, they bump into the ship correctly and it's a lot of fun especially when you get a whole lot of them like I, I had tons of fun creating like 200 blocks and then watching them slam into some other blocks I've spent several hours before <laughs> just making asteroid belts rotating around various chunks of gold this is we an have been yes this is an explanation as to why you know it's been a little slower yeah we, we have been working on it so this is uh, another thing we added was the uh, info thing. We, we had it before, but it was kind of limited to what it would show. Kind of like it had size-ish and some weight. But this is better, much better. Um, it shows how much time you've been working on the ship. This is uh, a different guy's ship. And uh, so the timer is actually a little bit off. He spent, I don't know, a couple hours on the ship. And um, the weight of the ship, how many pounds, and what size it is, 47, 105, and the ship name. Uh, so that's a nice little feature that you can do with your ship so you can tell just how much time you've spent on one. Oh, and uh, another thing we've added which is uh, I, I really like is the ability you can click anywhere on the screen and immediately go right back into the game. So if you do this where you go into interior or the material bar and select like a ladder you can immediately click out and just it goes right back in. So it's much smoother and uh, just helps a lot when you're building the ship. Uh, and this is uh, another thing we've added, which is uh, toggles. And the uh, the whole point with this is to be able to, if you like screw around with the uh, the settings, like you turn on grid and something that you don't want, or like you change the lighting to something really weird and you don't know how to get it back. Um, these are your status toggle bar thingies that uh, when you close out of them or you press this little X, it'll turn off whatever that last thing was. So I'm going to turn off the lighting flashlight. Yay, it reverted back to whatever the default was. And it just allows you to quickly get back to the default. If you are if you screwed up the, the system, you're trying to get back to what you originally had. And that works for ghost mode, run mode, lighting, uh, all those kind of things. The one, the one uh, item that does work a little bit differently is the crates. When you hit that little reset button, it actually removes all the crates, which can be helpful if you get them out in the middle of nowhere and you just want to start over again. Uh, that, can be, that can be very handy. Boom. All dead. So uh, another thing that we had, which uh, we've had for a couple versions now, it was a little bit funky before, which most of the glitches that were uh, caused by this we fixed. Um, we've added a new thing, which kind of works in the same uh, the same kind of way as Symmetry does, but instead of being like whatever you're presently doing, it just instantly, whatever you've done on one side, and this, it's called Mirror, by the way, up here in the upper left, and um, whatever you've done on one side, so I think with this ship, he's actually got a little bit asymmetrical. Okay, yeah. So over here, he's got like one side that's different from the other side. So I'm going to move over here and then click this. So it, it's just instantaneously transferred whatever was on this side of the ship to this side of the ship. You can actually do it. Uh, I, I have a lot of fun doing this where I take the ships. I just create two of them. Now this uh, this tool works the same way as symmetry, where if you hold down control, I believe you get uh, you can do in between symmetry, so that it's not just uh, the the outside plane of a block. You can actually split a block right down the center too, just like that. Although a little bit better, I, I 
placed that a little bit in the wrong direction. There we go. So really quickly, you can uh, like condense your ships or just make them look way different than what you originally had in mind, and then go off from there. One of the things that we did for this version is create a new live version. Um, the, the live version is like the other live versions. It's it's the same code, ba same base, but it's limited compared to the full version. So, uh, let's see that down there, live version. Uh, well, one of the biggest things is that you are limited to a 32 By square 32. area. So if I go up to here. It doesn't seem to stop. There we go. So up there it'll say limited to 32 and you just so in a 32 by 32 area is, is still fairly large you can build lots of cool things in that but we wanted to give some incentive to, to actually get the full version yeah like for example um the symmetry field is completely off you cannot you can't have the nice slick ability to just quickly get it to another side you have to build it all by hand so Right, so that's one of the, the things... Old, the golden, the nice olden days of Black Cave Runner. Yeah. Nightmare, nightmarish, huh? Back like in our, what would it be, 12 or 14? So we had no that. symmetries. The other thing that's also disabled in Light Edition, things like some of the grid modes are disabled, as well as uh, some of the lighting. Um, and I think, yeah, some of the sphere tools. So, for example, sphere and rectangle are disabled. Uh, another thing that's uh, disabled, we, we've limited quite a few of the materials, like the frame, There, you can only choose four of the primary frame placement things, and there are only so many platings, and uh, we've locked out two of the interiors. Um, there's also, I forgot to mention, there's actually quite a few uh, fan-made prefabs, like if you notice, the, the guy right here, it says Computer Core by Mr. Vorgra, and those are all from uh, community members. Most of these are actually textured by Terra. They were modeled by the community and then textured by Terra, who did such a good job at them. Uh -huh. uh, one of the other things is we're adding gravity boots. Yep. So, for instance, you take off. Yeah, so you've got like six degrees of freedom here. You can move as whatever you want. You know, it's kind of like uh, normal first person shootery controls C to go down, space to go up, things like that. And then when you get over top of a entity, you drop down just like it was actually had some gravity plating. And that's what it's for this version. That's how we've got it controlled. Um, for the next version, it's probably going to be a little bit different. Uh, same rules. You know, when you're over in an entity, you can get gravitized to it. And when you're outside, you can do like free space movement. But it'll be a little bit more controlled. Right now, it's just instantaneously when you're out here free movement, whatever you want, and when you're in here, it's back to gravity movement. So, just one of the things that we're going to be changing pretty quick here. Uh, just a few of the other things that we've been working on is uh, this little range scroll bar, which uh, it, it's when you uh, are placing an object, the cursor way over there that shows where you're going to place them, that's what that little scroll bar is. So if I keep scrolling up, it'll appear way out there, allowing you to do you know more long range kind of... Uh, building where you're not confined to doing like really close up or you could you know vice versa do prefabs really close up because I've had oh, so many occasions where I'm trying to build something really really detailed and having the range so far out is just a pain so that helps quite a bit and uh, we've got center of mass actually now appears above everything else which uh, helps quite a bit when you're trying to find it so it doesn't matter where you are you could fly way far away from it you'd always know where the center of mass is so that's just a few of the other things that we've uh, done to fix up and clean up the editor. And uh, the multiplayer is actually, we've gotten physics working in multiplayer, and you can you can load in ships as always. It's a little bit fidgety. We haven't gotten all the bugs worked out yet, so uh, just be a little bit weary when you're, you're playing multiplayer. But besides that, you know, have fun and play with the editor and do multiplayer. Um, so that's it. You know, we've got a lot more we, we're not able to show in this video, not enough time. But... Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, check back soon. We're going to have lots more fun stuff coming. Because now we actually get to do gameplay stuff. Yay. Yay. So I'm Micah. I'm Zach. I'm Tara. And hope you enjoyed it. See you later. <laughs>